Hi everyone. Today we're going to be working on a tutorial that a few people have requested in the comments. We're going to be adding knockback to an enemy character when they get attacked or when they take damage. For now this scene is a little plain. We're going to be using teleport nodons for this. We'll need an entrance and an exit. I have ZR as the button that activates the knockback logic, but you would have whatever damages the enemy character here. We'll start by connecting the teleport entrance and exit to the player character. We'll make sure the teleport entrance is set to work with people. On the teleport exit object, we'll change the teleport physics to reset and the launch speed to 5. So this causes a simple upwards teleport with force applied, and we can change the direction he moves in with the launch direction. Now normally how I would do this in a smoother way to get a diagonal knockback is with a moving object, but that doesn't work so well with the person nodons. The teleport nodons can't naturally launch in a diagonal arc. They either go up and then backwards, or back and then up. So in this case, we're going to have to use a hinge and an object to aim the teleport exit in the right direction. We'll get an X hinge connector and a simple box and hook them up together with the person node on. Our settings on the hinge connector will be set clamped to negative 45. That's the position that we're looking for. The box will set to visible and movable for now so we can keep track of it and the connection points will be set to Z negative and Z positive. We can see that it's now pointing in the right direction that we want the knockback to push the enemy character in. Now we'll disconnect the teleport exit from the person and attach it to the object. Make sure that the launch direction is still Z positive. And it's basically working right now. There are some things you can do to make it look better for your given application or your game. We can make the object smaller so that there's not as much of a jump since the person nodon is teleporting behind the object. And you can adjust the launch speed so that it makes more sense for whatever game you're creating. And if you are using simple objects or moving objects, it's even easier. In that case, you would just apply a Y and Z or X force to push them back in the right direction.